Hey guys, it's Jai, and today I'm going to be showing you two easy ways to get a Bendigo. So this first way I'm going to show you is building from source through Gradle wrapper. Um, to do this, all you got to do is come to our repository, github.com slash Jai slash Abendigo. Click on the clone or download button. Download the master zip. Then open up that zip and extract it wherever you want. Okay, so open up what you extracted and simply just run the run.bad file. This is going to build from source with Gradle Wrapper. Can take a little while, by the way. Once it's done, press any key to continue and it'll run the cheat. That's all you have to do. Um, so the next time that you run run.bat, by the way, it's not going to build because it already knows that it built. It's just going to straight up run the cheat and that's all you have to do. So now is the more advanced way. This is if you actually want to modify the code and if you actually want to, um, you know, help us out with the repository and get direct updates from Git. Um, this way is a little bit more complex, but it's still pretty easy. Just open up IntelliJ, hit checkout for version control choose github then you're gonna type in our repository name and then add dot git at the end hit test to make sure you typed it in right you can leave the directory name the default or you can change it whatever you want um, then just go ahead and hit clone when it asks you if you want to make an, an idea project hit yes then just go through the menu and then when you have it opened up it's gonna ask you to import the Gradle project, click on that little blue text up there and just hit OK. That's going to configure Gradle for the project. Then you're going to go over to the main file. By the way, if it ever asks you to add files to Git for the generated files, just choose Remember, Don't Ask Again. And then you're going to see that there's errors here, so just go ahead and click Setup SDK and choose the SDK that you want. And that's it. And then to run it, you just right click and press run. And there you go. Now if you want to receive updates, you know, so you don't have to remake the whole project, just hit VCS at the top, then choose Git, and then choose Pull. And that's it. It'll pull everything from the repository directly to your sources and then when you run you it'll automatically rebuild um something else to note you need git for this to work not github git so this is their website git-scm.com go over to there get git if you are using the intellij um way if you're using the gradle wrapper way the original first way you don't need anything you just need java Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. See you.